Hi guys, my name's Candice and you're watching my Ordinary Life here on YouTube. Now guys, before we get into this video, I am going to need you to click that subscribe button down below and the thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. Oh my gosh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I want to say welcome to my new subscribers, so glad to have you here. And also, thank you so much to all my subscribers for showing me love on my previous videos. Y'all have just been showing up and showing out and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Now guys, just a little, <laughs> if you could... Do not forget to click the thumbs up so I know you're liking what you're seeing. Just so I know to make it more frequent on the channel or not. Um, so yeah. So guys, for today's video, I thought seeing as I have some new subscribers and I got rid of my previous Get To Know Me video, I thought I would film another Get To Know Me. Now, because you guys know a little bit about me from my vlogs, I thought I would make this kind of like a spicy adult edition so as well as talking about me i thought i would add some random questions that it's just a bit naughty so just want to put out a disclaimer this video is intended for 18 and above just because there are going to be talks about sex nudity and adult related stuff so if that's not what you're into and that's not for you click off now but you have been warned <laughs> So guys, I thought I would do something very, very, very different. I thought I would form a get to know me tag, but I thought I would make it spicy edition. Now I thought I would put in some random questions <laughs> just so that you guys can get to know a little bit more about me, like all of me, if that makes sense. So I thought I would film this. Now I did write about 20 questions down just from research of like what typical questions are asked in get to know me tags. And then I thought I would just throw in some random ones so yeah let's get into the video so the first question is what is your name age and sign so my name is candice but people call me candy and i am 33 years oh let me not age myself 32 years old and i'm a leo what do you want people to know about you i want people to know that i'm just being myself but online um it's okay to be you in a world full of expectations and it's okay to be different. I think that's what makes people unique. So yeah. Coke or Pepsi? Neither. I'm going to say Dr. Pepper. I'm a Dr. Pepper girl um, or a Cherry Coke. But yeah. <laughs> Do you like to receive or give? Hmm. I'm not going to lie. That is kind of like a naughty one, but I like to give. I'm a giver. I'm a big giver, um, unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> I can't believe, I actually can't believe I'm saying this on YouTube. But yeah, I like to give, unless you know what you're doing, then I love to receive. <laughs> what is your love language? My love language is time and affection. Um, I do like physical touch. Um, and I do love intimacy. And when I mean intimacy, I mean like just just some good time, cuddling, maybe watching a movie. I like all that stuff. That to me is more than taking me to like an expensive restaurant or I don't know. I'm just, I like time. I like things that money can't buy because I can get anything I want for myself. So give me something I can't, you know. What drives you? What drives me is my ambition. I always knew I was going to be somebody and I was going to make it. I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know how it was going to be, but I always knew I was going to be okay. And I think that's what drives me, knowing that no matter what I do, I'll always be okay. So, yeah. And obviously being a mum, but if I'm being honest, just knowing I'll always be okay. What is your coffee order? Okay. Do not judge my coffee order because I like my coffee sweet. So I have two coffee orders. If it's in the summer, it's probably going to be a caramel frap. I have a few places I like to go, but my favourite is McDonald's. I'm just going to be real. And then it would be a, for the winter or other months, a Costa caramel latte with cream added and an extra pump of caramel. Now, if they have it i would love caramel drizzle but if not i'm just happy with the cream and about seven sugars 
One thing about me with my coffee, I like it milky and I like it sweet. What gives you the ick? Clinginess. <laughs> I'm one of these people, it doesn't matter if you're a girl, it doesn't matter if you're a guy, I love my own company, so if you're very clingy, that really does give me the ick and it puts me off, and as much as I love spending time with a loved one or a boyfriend or a friend, I also really enjoy my own time by myself, so yeah, if you're just always wanting to hang out, always wanting to be around me, always wanting to like just do something with me, that's going to put me off because I like my, I really prioritise my personal space. So yeah, that gives me the ick. What's your favourite sex position? Oh, well, right now, <laughs> I'm celibate. <laughs> but, um, huh. I like side and I like me on top, sit up. Those are the go-to, and obviously everybody loves missionary. Everybody loves that. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> three random things about me. Okay, so three random things about me would be, I can see spirit, I can communicate with spirit, and I love to sing. <laughs> Your fave YouTubers. I have such an eclectic mix of YouTubers that I watch. I watch things, I'm so like all over the place with YouTube. I watch vloggers, I watch science stuff, I watch history. So I would say my favorite, I'm gonna just, oh, this is a tough one. Who are my favorite YouTubers? I don't know. So I would say there's this lady who I've just come across. She is amazing and she does a lot of readings. She is my favourite tarot reader on YouTube. My favourite vlogger would probably be... I don't know. Do you know what? Can I be honest? I used to have favourite vloggers, but vlogging has become so dead on YouTube. That's why I've come back to do it, because... Probably Ava Galore. Yeah, Ava Galore. I really enjoy her vlogs. Yeah, Ava Galore. Um, and then... Who would else would I watch? And then I watch a lot of, like, reactions and reviews. So I would say maybe, like, Jeremy. I really like his movie reviews. So, yeah. Do you want more kids? Do you know what, guys? For a long time, I did not want a lot of... Well, I didn't want any more kids. Um, <laughs> Actually, to this day, it still petrifies me to have another child. But now that my daughter is a teenager, I feel like she needs a sibling. And I know y'all thinking, Candice, like... She probably would have needed that when she was five or six. She's 14. But I just feel like if anything happens to me, I wanted to have somebody in this world for her as well. So I'd say one more. But if I don't, I don't. But I'd, I'd love to have one more. What advice would you give your younger self? The advice I'd give my younger self is to trust your own gut, trust your own instincts, and to put yourself first. There's nothing wrong with prioritising your needs and your needs are just as important, if not the important needs in your life above everybody. And I think if you're a selfless person, you always put everyone above yourself. But yeah, if I could give advice to my younger self, it would definitely be to put yourself first and to follow your gut. What is my guilty pleasure? I'm going to be honest, guys. I love watching Taui. It, whether it's scripted or not, I love watching Taui. Now, I am one of these people that I can only watch the episodes no more than two times, but Taui's my great pleasure. I, I, I love it. I live for the drama. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? For fun, I like to do a lot of spontaneous things. So I like to travel. I like to go to a lot of amusement parks. Um, I like to sing. I just... I like to let my inner child out whenever I can. So being goofy with my daughter, maybe dance, having a dance session with her, maybe singing Disney songs in character voices. I'm just, I'm, I'm a big kid at heart, you know? Um, Wine or spirits? I'm a wino. Moscato, if we're being specific. I love Moscato when I'm just looking to be chilled, but I like a Zifrindel if I'm looking to be <laughs> naughty. Um... Yeah, I don't do well with spirits. I always end up in a toilet bowl and I'm just not 
about that throw up life as an adult like nah you can have that what was the last thing that upset or broke your heart um should we get deep i have been coming across a lot of um tiktokers and youtubers talking about child trafficking and there's this wonderful amazing girl called ali who was trafficked for years she was in the foster care system in america and she just talks about basically the elites and child trafficking and it just really broke my heart watching her documentary and it really broke my heart to see that there are so many innocent kids out there that are getting mistreated and abused and it just I just I don't know what it is but like animals and like kids my heart just breaks it breaks when I see people taking advantage of them because they are the most innocent thing in the world um but yeah yeah that was the last thing that broke my heart um I haven't had a broken heart through love 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 in a hot minute so yeah that was the last thing that broke my heart do you find being intimate as a plus size girl difficult i'm going to be completely honest with this question yes and no i think if you're not fully confident in who you are then it can be hard but I also have this thing, fake it till you make it. If even if you're not feeling confident, act like you are. Because no one really wants somebody who's like, oh no, no. Like, listen, <laughs> liquid courage or just in the bathroom, bitch, you better get it together. Like, you have to prompt yourself up and just know that you're the shit. And I think when you can fully, like, trust somebody, you're a whole different person in the in the bedroom like you don't have to think are this is this you just don't have to think you can just feel but i think if you're not fully confident and trusting in the partner you can't really give your all that's just from my experience i believe but yeah so guys that it to know me video i hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me i know the questions were really random but this is what we do here so guys if you like the video don't forget to click the thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video Bye. <laughs>